ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to the FT headquarters for the latest instalment of the PWM Expert Series. Today, we will be discussing the investment prospects for convertible bonds. My guest is an expert in this asset class, Skander Chabi, who heads up the convertibles team at BMP Paribas Investment Partners. Good afternoon, Skander. Good afternoon. So, Skander, when you're talking to investors, be they private clients, be they institutions, and they have their portfolios structured, some bonds, some equities, maybe some alternatives, a bit of real estate or private equity, and then you bring up this idea of convertible bonds. What kind of reaction do you get from them, and where can you convince them to fit it into their portfolio? Mm -hmm. Yes, we often get mystified looks when we <laughs> speak about uh, convertible bonds to potential investors, but um, I think that over the years there's been um, a profound educational process that has uh, brought investors more up to date in uh, the mechanics and uh, the, the opportunities offered in the convertible market. Uh, convertibles have a natural fit in either a fixed income portfolio where they are potentially interesting as a relative trade versus some other fixed income products such as corporate bonds um, within the investment grade space or the high yield space. But they also fit in equity portfolios where if you look at the sharp ratios, the, the realized performance uh, of convertibles, they tend to uh, outshine equities over longer periods of time. So for investors that want to dampen a little bit of their volatility in equity portfolios, it makes sense to add about maybe 5 to 10 percent of convertible bonds within an equity portfolio. So they can be all things to all people. So to some investors, they're a bond. To other investors, they're, they're an equity. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, it really depends on uh, the investment process of the fund manager that is selected that can offer products that are either very high geared and exposed to, to the equity uh, proportion of the convertible market, or they can be tailored uh, to suit more convex uh, requirements, which means that uh, allowing investors to benefit from upside with limited downside uh, in, the, uh, in the convertible asset class. So yes, there are different ways to look at uh, the convertible bond market. So could you explain briefly to our viewers how a convertible works? I think in we journalists, we might uh, slip in some phrase convertible, a low yielding corporate debt issue with an attached equity option. I is that a fair enough description? Well, I think, I mean, that's a fair definition of, of what a convertible bond is. If you were to consider the basic structure of a convertible bond, uh, and maybe one of the misconceptions uh, to correct here is that convertible bonds in, in many cases, in the majority of cases, are senior debt instruments. So they rank peri passu with a lot of straight debt issues of, of the same company. Uh, so that's one advantage um, that, that investors in convertible bonds have relative to equity holders, which are all the way at the bottom of the uh, capital structure of, of the company. And of course, within that bond uh, that you buy, you benefit from an embedded call option, which allows you to participate to the upside of, of the underlying equity. So there's a trade-off uh, when we talk about low yields. The reason for that low yield is that you're buying an option to gain that exposure to the underlying equity. That comes at a cost, and that cost is expressed as a lower yield when you compare a convertible bond to an equivalent straight debt. 